my name is Kathy Laird, and uh, as you know, I like a bit of toilet humour, which is just as well because today we're going to talk about poo. Sitting next to me is my good friend Catherine Oates Smith, who is a bit of a pooologist actually, so as well as many other things. She's the co-founder and the chairwoman, would you say? CEO. The CEO of Mothers Babies. So just tell everyone a little bit about you. All right, I'm not a pooologist but I do work with some very clever professors and scientists who know a lot about poo and more specifically the microbiome. Mm -hmm. I am a mother. I was a married mother of two. I've been a single mother. I've been a stepmother for five children. Um, I'm now an empty nester and I hope one day to be a grandmother. But Mother's Babies is all about empowering mothers-to-be to optimise their health so that their health and the health of their babies is the best it possibly can be for life. I mean, clearly the woman juggles so much she could be in the Cirque du Soleil. But tell us how Mother's Babies came about. What was your particular personal um, experience. relation and experience mm. to this? So Mother's Baby came about because uh, when my daughter was 16, she was in, ice, in intensive care at St Vincent's mm. for nine months with a usually fatal autoimmune condition. So she had a light, on and off life support, yeah. had a life totally saved by Horrifying. an amazing doctor there. Yeah. And she basically is now in third year law school and she's fine. Uh, but at that time, like any desperate parent, I did a lot of research mm -hmm. into the immune system and I found out that the microbiome, our gut health, mm. is very much a driver of how our immune system fights disease. Yeah. I mean, I left school at 16. The only examination I've ever passed is my cervical smear test. So I want you to explain the microbiome to a lay person like me. The microbiome is basically the trillions of microorganisms that inhabit your body, including a lot of them in your gut. Now, we can call it your gut microbiome, if you like, or your gut health. Yeah. But basically, the diversity of those microorganisms in your gut determine how well your immune system functions. Mm -hmm. so, your, so your gut health and your microbiome is basically how the body translates between the environment and your DNA. And it, it is able to drive how your immune system fights disease. Mm. And there are many, many scientists around the world who are looking for signatures for common diseases in the microbiome at the moment. And it's the frontier of medicine, yeah. the frontier of preventative medicine. So for mothers to be, like, you know, forget doing the creative things with Play Doh and, mm. the, you know, feng shui, your, your aura and everything, the most important gift you can give your baby mm. is. An immune system that can fight disease and this is what this medicine is all about. We're working on a study at the moment that is going to show that the most powerful time to intervene in a baby's health um, to help a poor microbiome is between one month and four months and there's some new research that's going to come out this year it's not even out yet that's going to that's going to show us that and, we, and what that does is it empowers the medical profession to be able to help mothers to optimize the, the health of their children. I mean, um, I don't know if many of you know this, but I do have a son on the autistic spectrum. And what my son has taught me is there's no such thing as normal and abnormal. There's ordinary and extraordinary. And they are, they do have a, a, a wonderful, literal, lateral, tangential logic. Mm. But they also suffer from chronic OCD and anxiety, which is heartbreaking for a mother. Mm. And I'd do anything to take that away from him. And the microbiome can also help prevent asthma and, and eczema and obesity mm. and other other conditions like that. Mm. And we're, we're, we're involved in supporting a very major study with 2,000 women mm -hmm. at the University of New South Wales, being run, run, run by Professor Imad El Omar, doing just that, looking into the pre-pregnancy health of mothers and their gut and how that translates into disease or otherwise in their children. So it's a very, very important study. And of course, these very, very important studies cost a lot of money. So any fairy godmothers out there want to wave their money wand in our direction, what's the best way to donate? The best way to donate, and all donations, large and small, are greatly appreciated, mm -hmm. is to go to www.mothersbabies.org. Mm -hmm. There's a donation page there, it's very simple. And what we're proving today is that women are each other's human wonder bras, uplifting, supportive and making each other look bigger and better. <laughs> mothers, babies.